the sound. We're alive on guys what? with knives. That means that uh, we should start talking and stuff. <laughs> Just sit there and mouth words. <laughs> you are not a kung fu movie. Yeah, I am. <laughs> this is Bruce Armstrong over here. Bruce Armstrong. Uh, welcome to Guys Talk Knives. That's Jason. I'm Andy. Yeah. We're presented by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. SMKW.com. I almost got my thumb on that. And apparently ZRK today. <laughs> Absolutely ZRK today. Good lord. This is going to be a Do tough Do we need show. to start over? Welcome to Guys Talk Knives. Brought to Moses you by... Moses supposes his toes are roses. Moses supposes his toes are roses. <laughs> <laughs> everything on the table today is from CRKT. It's because CRKT released everything last week. Yes, they did. Uh, and SHOT Show is going on right well, now. And we got a lot of it in stock. And we could sell it. And uh, two deadbolts. Two very, very cost-effective flippers. And something and funky. Minimalist. No, no. No, it's an old I want all the with a new coat. I want all the minimalist. <laughs> Just a one gigantic lanyard around my neck. I oh. love them. Law have mercy. A little tiny fixed blade knife for every purpose. I got told I was cheating by folding and creasing the paper when I cut it. I know I'm cheating. Oh. I'm cheating for a reason. I'm bad at cutting paper. Yeah. I'm getting better. I'll do it every show. Get, buy some meat shoe and some ballistics gel. We'll cut other <sighs> things. Ah. Last Thursday, we gave away a Rough Rider teeny weeny little mini. Yes, we did. And uh, Mr. Michael Chitty won that. Like Our Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's right. Uh, Michael, we would like an action shot. Yes. Of you using or wearing the tiny knife. If you can get it into an earring, I mean, that'd be gold. Nose ring? Uh, that'd be awesome. That's fine. A little septum ring, so it just swings oh, back and forth. And maybe off of your eyebrow? That'd be annoying as crap, wouldn't it? <laughs> you catch it on your sunglasses. <laughs> oh, God. I'm dying. Be great. I'm dying. Like of course, said, cutting paper with that right there. <laughs> you need to fold it and crease it first. <laughs> you gotta cheat with the little tiny knife. <laughs> uh, all like we said, all the new CRKT are up on the site right now and pretty much ready to ship. Oh yeah, they're gonna go yeah. though because so, like, as we understand it, cool a lot stuff. of this stuff. Um, they sent the first round out. Yeah. They will be manufacturing more. Of course. Uh, so a lot of the stuff will go quickly, and uh, we'll then have to we'll wait get for it to get back, back in stock. Yeah. Yeah. So but there's some limited quantities. Uh, you can do that. Um, what do you want to talk to you while we let people roll in today? What do you want to talk about? Wow. This is just an open book right there. Do you want to talk about process, how long it takes to actually get a Rough Rider done and made? That'd be kind of cool. I, I mean, mean, we, we can do we that. We've touched on it before. We, yeah. But yeah, let's let, because we were just talking about the fact that we've got... A lot of Rough Rider in the works. Yes. And a lot coming in yes. soon-ish. But just kind of, you know, we, we like the behind the baseball, behind the scenes kind of stuff. So, so Rough Rider, I can't talk today. That's a dog voice right there. Rough Rider so is a so house brand. Out. Rough Rider is our brand. We own it, right? So yeah. It's been around for 25, more than 25 more years than 25 now. More than 25 years now. Um, and I'm not sure that everybody out there understands exactly how long it takes in the process to manufacture a knife overseas and get it back. And, and I say that yeah. not just about us. This is everybody. Everybody. And it's not just overseas. A knife, period. It's not a quick, easy process to roll that out. No, because you're talking about from paper, from somebody's head to paper. Mm -hmm. And that's usually my job. Uh, we do see samples come in from Rough Rider. Sure. Uh, we do see. Uh, we do have some other people that help work on Rough Rider as well. But we see things come in. Yeah. We adapt them. Uh, we change them. We name them. We build all the basic marketing around this thing. We say, send us a sample of this thing yes. in the form we want it, and that takes weeks. And they, they send one. Yes. And it comes in, and. As the person who's kind of removed from that process, because I'm not—that's not my role here at the company. I mean, those come in, and a lot of people look at those. Yes. I mean, it's and it's yes. Yours is an eye for. Did this come out the way that we pictured it? Right. And Kevin's is for a that and what's the fit and finish like? Yeah. So we're looking at over. There's a lot of discussion. They'll send us a factory sample. It's a one-off of these things. Sure. And so we're sitting there and we're trying to decide: were our decisions right? Yep. Uh, did they come out like we told them to? Sure. Um, are there problems with what we told them to do in the the product that is going to be sure. the last thing that happens before it goes? So we either approve a sample or we don't, 
And uh, if, if we don't approve it, we send back notes, and sometimes we get a second sample. Sometimes we yeah. don't. Sometimes we just roll right into production. That process after that is going to take anywhere from nine months to two years. Sure. Because, again, this is, this is not quick. This is taking somebody's brainchild, uh-huh. making one, sending it back to them that's not completely a production knife at right. that point nope. because they're they're making it and saying all right here's here's a visual i got a rough rubber pocket so they send back is that a rough rubber pocket in your pocket it is i just blew it i was gonna say are you I know, happy to see me <laughs> so they send they send this natural micarta rough rider back this cotton sampler and andy and kevin and tyler and everybody looks at it and goes okay yeah the the finish is good Let's round this off more. This should be bigger. This should change. Whatever those changes might be. You know, the, the shield's not quite as flush as we want it. Whatever that might be. Then those notes go back. This production piece stays here. Right. And like Andy said, either they give another production piece, another test model back, or they go into production. Well, that production, they're retooling in some cases. Yes. They're saying, okay, we're about to do a whole line of this knife. We're getting... Let's use 500 for the sake of argument. So we have to start mass producing the bolsters and the pins and the lanyard tubes and the blades and the liners. Yeah. And all these pieces start rolling off an assembly line. And then they have to be put together by hand. Yeah, because and, and they're with, all built by hand. And, and with this particular one, I showed this in the Army, in the SMKW Army group. This, I sat on this for a year and a half. Sure. So I knew this was in the works when everybody was clamoring for I want Micarta, I want this, I want I want no blade etches. Exactly. And I'm sitting there going it's the same thing I said to Tobias last week about sure. the Camp King. Yeah. I and mean, the whole while he is begging for a scout knife, I know there's one coming. Yeah, there's one on the way. I can't talk about it. We listen. Right. Places like and it's the same for CRKT. It's the same for Benchmade. It's the same for ZT. So when Sinkovich does a new ZT. He goes from this thing in his head, right, to and I don't know his I don't know his process. He, he's, a, he's an actual maker, so he's going to do three D so, design and yeah. everything, and then he's going to do the same refinement process with it. He will send it to CRKT. Yeah, they will approve it or not approve it. Then they'll take another step towards the factory, and the factory will go, "No, that's not possible in a yeah, production we can't do model." That. Yeah. We can do this, and they just go back and forth as ready. And I know that when we sat down with people from CRKT. Mm-hmm. Uh, Process is taking as long as two years. Sure. It just is what it is. So, it, And it doesn't even matter at that point where those things are made. Yes, we have a shipping time for Rough Riders because they come from China. Yes. But taking that completely out of the mix, if you're making a ZT in, Amer- in, in the U.S., it's the same thing. So Sinkovich right. has that piece made, goes to CRKT, they right. produce that item, mm-hmm. send it back to him, and he goes... Yeah, he gets the final say. No, I, I want to change this a little bit. Duh. It goes back in the factory. Goes well. We could change that, but now your price is here, not here. Right. They go back to Sinkovich. The people at CRKT talk. The marketing people talk. They have revenue managers involved, who go. Right. That price point's a little high. Can we change this? Let's alter this. And all of a sudden, you end up with a knife, and then a factory starts producing said knife. Right. So it's the exact same thing, and those processes aren't quick. I mean, Case. Case is already working on stuff that's going to come out much later in the year. Sure. Because the stuff that's coming out right now was made months ago. And Because, again, they've got to make all the pieces. Right. And here's the thing, too. I mean, so we do these Rough Rider knives. We buy a set amount. It is not automatic to be able to get... No, again, to get more, right? So yeah. you're working a year, maybe two, out. Yeah. Um, so when we have a hit happen on a regular amount of purchased items like a sure. Rough Rider Micarta work knife, and immediately they sell out, even though there were a thousand pieces, 500 sure. pieces, when they're gone, to just, we can't just order more and they show up in a week or two. Well, because you're, again, that factory that made those moved on. Yes. They're no longer tooled up right. for that McCarter work knife. Right. They're now tooled up for a McCarter cotton sampler. Right. McCarta cotton sampler. Right. And they're producing that. So for us to go to them and say, well, swap back to this one doesn't yep. make good business sense, number right. one. 
And it also completely throws off their workflow. Sure. So it, it really is a, it's a very interesting process. And it's the reason why, okay, dropping your new stuff at SHOT Show, dropping more new stuff at Blade Show makes so much sense for the industry as a whole because a lot of them don't have the benefit that we have of having a catalog that drops every month. Right. The benefit of, that we have of having new product come in that we can then take pictures of and put online because we had this made. Right. Um, it is very difficult for Spyderco to say, okay, we're going to drop a new product every month. Right. And completely hurt the brains of all of our resellers <laughs> who want to buy it all here. It just it's 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 a really it's a very it's a big process. process. Yeah. And so that's a little bit of insight into it. Again, you're watching Guys Talk Knives. We're going to jump into the things on the table. If there are no questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, nothing, you just wave me off. We have trouble. No, she's giving me the weird shake off there. She's she's in, she is zoned in. Melina is involved. <laughs> it is. What got it your is. back. It is what it is. Uh, something new is what we're going to start <laughs> with. Isn't this all kind of something new though? It, it is, but this ha! is the something new of the something, something new. really new. Periscale. We saw this a long time ago. We did. <sighs> We did, and it's actually a really cool idea. We got to see all this stuff back in September, no, 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 October. No, it was, no, it was, it was, uh, it was beginning of November. We're in November. Okay, uh, our rep came in and showed us all this new stuff, and it hurt our brains because we couldn't talk about it right until now. Right. This is the Periscale. Uh, it is deadbolt technology. Yeah, it is. Um, and the thing about this knife that is different from anything, you've seen a lot of knives that are fixed blades that have paracord wrapped around them. This is not a fixed blade. This is a folding knife with deadbolt technology. And because it's not got a frame lock or a liner lock inside there, yep. because the lock is here, you can actually wrap the handle in paracord. And that is not permanently attached. You can put no. any paracord you want yep, You can take it off, do whatever you want to do to it. <coughs> what are the specs on this? So... This is, of course, as Andy said, this is the Periscale. It's designed by TJ Schwartz. It has deadbolt tech that lets, of course, the paracord wrap on the folder. It is a 3.2 inch D2 drop point blade with a satin finish. It is 0.13 inches thick, ambidextrous thumb studs, glass reinforced nylon handles, cord wrapped handle, deadbolt locking mechanism, tip up pocket clip, 4.7 inches closed, almost eight inches overall, and a carry weight of five ounces. And of course, with that deadbolt, you have probably the most durable locking mechanism. Pretty close to it on the market right yeah. now. A um, couple things to point out while we're here: the handle underneath is the glass reinforced nylon. Yep. Uh, this is pretty much a full size EDC at five ounces. Uh, the pocket clip does not is not ambidextrous. You can yep. remove it, but you cannot change the side exactly. on it. Uh, the one thing I will note about this is the ease of closing with the deadbolt. Yeah and the ease of opening with this thumb stud. Um, it reminds me of that shock. You remember how cool. easily that shock the opened shock and closed? Just incredible. It's, it's just a nice little knife. I, I don't know about this yet. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, what do you guys think about a paracord wrapped handle? I think it's- On a, a folder. On a folder. Yeah. I think it's a neat idea. I think it could be very useful in the field. I just, I'm not sold on it yet. Well, we were talking earlier, and Jonathan, who's behind the board, brought up a really good point. This paracord is not coming off easily. So if you need the paracord for right. a purpose, it's going to take a little bit of time. Right. Um, that being said, if you want to really customize a folder, sure, on the inexpensive side, yeah. you can do that. You can even use thicker paracord on this and have a little bit more of a grip, but first blush, just picking it up, that really feels nice in your hand. Yeah, it's grippy, that's um, for sure. It has, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was laughing. Yeah. Um, the deadbolt technology I love. Um, it does drive that price point up a little bit. Yep. 130, so 129.99 on this. Yes. Um, but it is something completely new and unique. Taking the, the paracord fancy out of it, you have a really, really nice, solid blade on this. It's D2 steel, so it's gonna last for a long, long time. Um, you're gonna have to work to put an edge on it, but once you do, it's gonna stay for a while. Uh, you have that dead pulp technology, and you can see on this, you can see that piece of metal that goes all the way through from both sides, from both handles, 
through the entire width of that blade and just locks in place. That's right. not going anywhere. Right. Um, so I, there's a lot of pluses that I really dig about that. The action, I totally dig. Uh, I, again, I'm not totally sold on the paracord. I think it's a really neat concept. I think it's unique. Question. Will it fit paracord with the innards still in it? Um, that is that answer is yes. I have seen it yes. online. I have seen it happen. It's going to be harder for you to pull through. Yeah, uh, but we can go to and look at it real quick. Yeah, you're going to have to you work guys can at see it. in there. These these are like loops that come through, almost like a shoelace. But they're set back enough. Yes, little little spaces are that that blade's not going to just start wearing on that. I, I would say if you had like like a little uh, uh, knitting hook and could push through, It'd be a lot easier. But a lot easier to help you out do this whole process. But you can see that. I mean, yeah. there's a little hole right there that you can kind of see in, um, in this section. And you can see how it, it's big enough. It's You'll grooming. probably have to give it a push. Yeah. yeah. I like this thing. It's $129.99. Yeah. That is a, a solid knife price. It is. It's not, it's not too high. It's not. And I, you're paying that $130 to me for the deadbolt. Right. The, the Paracord Yes is new and, and very unique. But you're paying the 130 for the deadbolt technology, um, which I dig, right? And probably will eventually make the investment and get one. Um, I think it's fun. Tell us I, in the I comment like what you think. Yeah, uh, this is something new from CRKT. It's the Periscale, uh, 129.99. Moving yeah. on to the. Do we have another question, Blaine? Okay. Like I said, right now, they pretty much like it. Yeah. If Facebook likes it. YouTube's not real sure. <laughs> okay. Well, no, and I, and I think that's... I think that's totally fair. I think it is, I too. think that's it's, the way we evaluate knives. It's very unique. To me, here's my drawback on the deadbolt. What's that? I haven't ever carried one. Me either. To know if I like it daily use-wise. Right. I mean, I, I we got bought, bought a new file cabinet. Mm -hmm. Comes in a nice big box from Walmart, right? Right. And... Instead of having to pull this out of the top, because I did it by myself, I was like, well, I'm just going to cut this out of the box open. Uh -huh. What did I pick up? Uh, I have your... Artisan Tomahawk. <laughs> and I went, shh, shh, down both sides, opened the entire side of the box, and popped it out. It was the exact right tool for the job. Hmm. Um, it, you know, it, you should go to what you know and what you like. Yes. Um, so it, it, one of these, I'd like to carry a deadbolt and see see how it. I've not carried one yet way. either. Yeah. Um, I, I think when the shock came out last year, it was an amazing knife, and I think oh, yeah, it, I it, think it's really cool technology. In the second round of people dealing and using with the deadbolt, we'll see another one that's on the table, and there's some other knives out there like yeah. the linchpin that are really cool. Let's jump into the EDC of the Ooh, week. Yes, yes, this was probably the one that I liked. Other than the tuna, this is the one that I liked the most. This is the Overland, and it's for the shape of it. Um, yeah. To me, this just was something totally different. And they're selling this thing on the site, on CRKT's site. They're selling this as a prep knife, like a camp prep knife for like food, food and seat. things. Yeah. And I totally get it. Sure. The uh, offset nature of this particular knife lets you get your knuckles out of the way. Yeah, for you go with the board of, without, yeah. without bashing your knuckles yeah. on. Let's have a look. Um, so this is the Overland 3-inch 8CR 13MOV modified sheep's foot. Ambidextrous thumb stud opener, frame lock, G10 handle on the front, steel back handle. Um, it's kind of like what was the one we had on Tuesday's show? Tuna. Thank you, the tuna. It, it's very, very it's practically minimalist. a matching set with yeah. the tuna. It's very, very minimalist. You have you have no, no liner on the other side of that G10. Right. Keeps the weight down. Uh, tip up, pocket clip, anodized pivot ring, and integrated lanyard hole spacer. So you've got that nice pop of orange in both places. Um, almost kind of a rust orange on that. Um, 4.4 inches closed, 7.4 inches overall, carry weight of 3.6 ounces. Uh, again, super, super light. Have the same issues that we talked about on Tuesday with that. Get your fingers off that frame lock. Yes, definitely. You have to do that when you're using the thumb studs. If you get on top of this frame lock whatsoever, you're not going to be able to open it. Yeah. You know what these colors remind me of? 60s Air Force jackets. Jackets. Yes, they do. It's Completely. that jacket green with the orange yes. inside. The ones we all had as kids. Oh, no kidding, yes, right? yeah. Um, it. I like this knife. I um, do too. Once you get used to where the flip action is, it mm -hmm. is very easy to use. You just have to get your fingers out of the way. Yeah, and it moves. And it's and part of it is I think that really thin style of that frame lock of that whole knife is it's so slender in your hand. I mean, there's really you can see there's there's like nothing there. I think this is T.J. Swartz too. 
Look on the back of that knife. I'm pretty sure on the back of the knife it'll say Schwartz. Yes. So Schwartz is both on. the Periscale and the Overland and the Overland are developed by TJ Schwartz. But unlike you, that with the Burnley tuna, that's a good looking set of knives. I'll have the Burnley tuna. Yeah. The Burnley tuna. <laughs> Can I have a side of fries with my Burnley tuna? Um, just a, a really cool looking knife. Um, I can see that being, yep, have my fingers on the, on the frame lock. It no open. Um, <laughs> but I can also see this just being a nice EDC. It's a great box cutter. Great box cutter. Great, you know, uh, you know, uh, rope twine, whatever you're cutting. Amazon boxes, mm -hmm. beware. Mm -hmm. um, I like I, these I like fat it. sheep's foot looking blades. I think it's they're calling some of these K tips. Uh, the Burnley was called a K tip. Thing I just, for this year, man. I, I like the fact that it's not flat and straight across like a Warney yep. is. It's got a belly to it, so you can yep. do some slicing. Uh, nice and sharp too. Yeah, that one you're definitely going to get some pressure in when you push it. Uh, well, and that, the jipping on the back of this, the ridges. Yeah, the jipping ain't good. Love to throw it in there occasionally. Occasionally, I haven't had a cut with it in a while. I don't you know. Have. Let's see what a fifty-five dollar knife cuts like. Oh yeah, we haven't even like, talked oh, about that. Let's yeah. not cheat. I will not cheat today. How dare you, I will sir. do it for real. That's yep. nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. Look out there, tell me online. He's got to pull and slide at the same time. Well, that belly on that is perfect for making little curly cues. Yeah. No, that's sharp. It's a good knife. Yeah. Just a good, good knife. I like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 55 I like bucks it. from oh, CRKT. That's the Overland. You Once you get a that. solid, for me, that is a solid knife price. I Again, think so for me. Once yeah. you get to the $100 mark, I start going, oh, that's a video game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's too much of subscribing. Oh, right. Dang it. <laughs> um, 55 bucks, that's not bad. I, you think about this, too, and I, I thought about this the other day. It's $55, okay? The other day, we stopped and went to a popular restaurant. There are... Pretty girl serving you in orange shorts. In orange shirts. Yes, yes, yes. Shorts. Shorts. Nice wigs. All, all good. Leaving that place after just having a general meal. Yeah. Was forty eight dollars yep. before having a tip. And sure. that was with no alcoholic drinks whatsoever. So another nine that bucks was just for a lunch. lunch. Yes. Yeah. That's this. It's that knife. One meal versus that knife. Sure. So, so it's relative. It's, it, when you it think really about is. It. It's completely relative. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't get to do this with the with the chicken wing. You can, <laughs> but then the pieces of meat just go flying on the other tables, and it's it's bad. Are you a flat or a drumstick guy? I don't really have a preference. I like the flats better. The flats you because you can twist the flats, them and pop the yeah you bones can pop out. them apart, pull the bones out, and you just sit there. And it's all. like eating it's like eating a, a piece of crab meat at that point. Right. If you do it right, then you've just got the meat left over. And right. You're good to go. I always feel like I'm just a condor digging on, like, or a vulture digging on, like, roadkill by the big, time you finish. A big pile of carry. Yes. You've just got bones everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that is the overland from CRKT. That is covered the, in goo. Yeah, I have, like, a stack of paper towels there where I just keep me. It's Inevitably, to I touch my it's eye, in, too. Oh, yeah. It's in your beard. You just feel gross. You're like, okay, I've got to go. You're walking like a, you're walking like a surgeon you in the bathroom going, oh, don't touch me. I'm going to need to shower after this. This is my favorite on the CRKT table. Pete is Second favorite the, on the table. brand new bargain yes, of the week. Yes, it is. Bargain of the week because it is twenty seven ninety nine. Jeff Jesper Voxnase. I want to say Jeff every time. Yes, it's Jesper Voxnase. Voxnase. The Pete is a Jesper Voxnase design. If you look at Jesper Voxnase stuff on his Instagram account, you're going to see that it is all very clean. Yeah. Uh, a lot of pop of color that he's doing in his own custom work, and I think that's what happens with this. This just not to even stop on the headline is a twenty eight dollar knife. Yeah. Right there. CRKT Pete. P I E T. I want to say Piet every time I say I it. I do too. It is Pete. Uh, so 8CR 13 MOV drop point blade with a satin finish. It is 0.13 inches thick. Uh, thumb hole opener, liner lock, GRN handles, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip, integrated lanyard hole spacer. That's kind of a thing for them this year. Yeah, it um, is. As you notice, both on the overlay and the tuna had it yeah. too. Um, so I love that they that. left this cutout bigger so that you can see that through yeah. the hole. So you can actually see the anodization. You see uh, that nice, again, it's that nice pop of color that makes it really stand out. Uh, 3.75 inches closed, 6.5 inches overall, so this is a good everyday carry. Not too big, not too small. 
weighs 2.5 ounces, so it's gonna. You're not gonna even know this in your pocket. It is just a medium-sized everyday carry uh, that I have to moan about right now. Here's do my it. moan. Yeah, I'm gonna but do only it only because of the way you open. I like to try to flick a knife. Sure, I do. So on this side, I can get my thumb in and I can flick. So I can do that, right? Yep. What they've had to do with the liner lock on the other side, though, stops me from being able to do that. Well, I might be able to do it. After you got used to it, I'd maybe. I'd have to really dig a nail in there. I'm going to grow my middle nail out. Like you're like your guitar Just like player. into a point. But it's hard because of where the liner lock sits yeah. on this side to get your finger all the way into that hole. I wish that it just had just a little bit more divot. Here's the thing that I love about this knife. Look at that pocket clip. That pocket clip is super, super deep carry. You're going to have this little bit of a knife poking up at the top, and then look, ah, here's a, look, at, the put it on there. look at the ambidextrous hole on the other side. Look at that. Gone. Yeah. Now, look at this hole on the other side. You have this nice big groove uh -huh. that that's going to fit into, so it's not going to flip around, it's not going to slide, it's nice and, and locked in place. I I really, really like this knife. Hey, this one you don't have to get worried about the frame line. No, you don't. And it's and again, it's twenty eight bucks, and that's just a good, solid little. Oh, it's EDC. very nice. I, it I is probably my second it. favorite thing they showed. I am actually torn. I, I have we haven't put it on a show yet. Um, that Richard Rogers. I can't. It starts with an M. I can't. Oh, what's it's the Malin. I can't remember what it was. No, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There you go. Look that at the is thickness my, of that. Go to. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a, just a great pocket knife. It's really nice. It is my second favorite thing on the table. That minimalist is calling my name. I know it is. I want to skip straight to it. Get to it. I failed. Because you don't have it. You're not cheating. That's why. That's because I, I, I'm, I'm going against the grain. One of these days I'm going to take a picture of what's going on down here. Because I want to get all of their new anodized clips and line them all up in one shot. Yeah. Seriously, look, look at this. You've got that, you've got the tuna. What was the other one that we had? Uh, um, the, we had two on Tuesday, didn't we? Uh, we did have two on Tuesday. It wasn't the... Um, what the heck was it? What was the other one that had the... No, which hadn't thrown our sheets away. <laughs> the tuna, the something, and these two, they all have that same anodized clip. The tuna, the overland, the peat, they all had those same little things. It was something. Yeah. Oh, it was the sketch. The sketch, yes. yes. The other Burnley knife. All have those. And they, they do, they just... They, they and then the Theros the does too, or the Theros, Thero, 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 Theros, Thero, Theros, Thero, Theros, 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 yeah. 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 The Theros does as well, really which great. I'm calling the Spider-Man knife. We'll get that one on the show soon. Sure. Uh, we could probably have done like three full weeks worth of brand new yeah. that was just from CRKT, but I wouldn't do that to you guys. I want to show you some of that stuff. Provoke with the Vestorations too. Right. It may or may not be an email tomorrow. <laughs> So I have a question. I mean, not to put our brands on a thing, but do you think this tops um, Kershaw in the same in the same price range? This is this is what twenty eight twenty eight bucks twenty eight bucks. Um, I think you're going to get close, but I think I think price point you're going to get a little less knife and a better price point on a Kershaw at that level. I don't know that you get a little less knife because a lot of those are going to have speed safe. That's true. So you're going to have this keen little flipper that. So do you think they fall right in the same category? I think then. they do. I think yeah. it depends on the person. Right. Uh, the the Spiderco guy who likes a manual opener. Mm -hmm. This is more their style. True. Just in a very general term. True. The person who wants a little zippy, you know, fidget spinner in their pocket. I think you're probably still heading toward toward Kershaw. All right. I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, it, but these are all solid. Brand new, uh, brand new bargain of the week. Yep. Look at you, box. Premium from Ooh. CRKT. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Questions? No, we're discussing the flats. Nobody's ready to call it the flats, including me. Really? Drumstick really? or the gross one. Drumstick or the. It's the flat. <laughs> like, and it's a flat. Call They're called flats. flats, yeah. Oh, never heard of called flats. Give me some flats. I'll eat flats all day long. I don't want to gnaw on a drumstick. Just say it. <laughs> I didn't invent this I don't term. Mind on, the drum, on the drumstick because if you're if they're cooked well, you just poke the whole thing in your mouth and skin it as you pull the thing out, and you're fine. See, I think that's also a pineapple on your pizza kind of discussion. Probably, probably. <laughs> I agree. We're not we're not doubting that whatsoever. So if you're familiar with CRKT whatsoever, to get this back on track from the flats. 
You know that Kit Carson made yeah. one of the most popular selling, and still the most popular selling knives for ZRKT, the M16 and the M21. First um, flipper that I ever experienced. He is he is no longer with us. He has passed. Yeah. So yeah. what they did is take the deadbolt technology and make a legacy to yeah. all of the things that Kit Carson has done, and they came up with the M40. Yeah. This is the CRKT M40. That right. is such a slick looking knife. <coughs> uh, so with the M40, you still have that same that same style. You've got this the lub just like you would on the on the M16 for the flipper. Uh, with this, it of course uh, reminds you of that M16 and M21 design that Kit Carson brought out. It's a 3.5 inch, 1.4116 drop point blade with a bead blast finish. It is 0.135 inches thick. Look at that switch. Just stop. I'm telling Look you. that switch. It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty. That is a you pretty see how knife. thick it is right here, and then it drops into yep. the switch. Out so front. good looking. Um, ambidextrous thumb studs or a manual flipper. So uh -huh. choose how you want to open. Uh, GRN handles with uh, 60, 63 aluminum bolsters, mm -hmm. deadbolt locking mechanism, IKBS ball bearing pivot system, ambidextrous step up pocket clip, 4.6 inches closed, <coughs> 8 inches overall, <coughs> and it weighs 4.2 ounces. I just like the stoutness of this knife. I yeah. think they did uh, Kit Carson proud with it. I this is the M4003. It's the drop point version of it. We have a Tanto as well. Yes. And then I think there is also a larger version. It's either larger or smaller. It's a slightly larger. It's slightly larger. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Slightly it's larger and has a serrated. It's best. Yeah, that's right. They are all M40s. They just have different ending numbers. This is the M4003. Yeah. Um, I just I balked when they said this was glass reinforced nylon. Does that look like any glass reinforced no, nylon you've ever seen? I was thinking carbon fiber. <laughs> it kind of has that look. Um, I mean, look at they, they upgraded that GRN. They said, "Hey, we're gonna make this nice and pretty and slick looking." Now, how much does this remind you of the uh, build of the shock? A lot. Me too. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Especially this bolster look. Hundred and ten dollars. It's like they took the best of everybody. Including Kit Carson, yeah, and said, "Let's put a deadbolt in it and make this knife." And I, I think it's a good use of that deadbolt technology on M16. I cannot, and I, I can't do this with M16s either. I cannot make the thumb stud work. Oh, there it was. I almost cut my finger. Yeah, I think for me it's a middle thing. You got that flipper on the back, and you want to make it work, and I just I'm like, nope, it's, not gonna ever it's use. It's in an odd studs. spot for me. Nope, not gonna happen. It's got a flipper, so I'm all good. Yeah. <laughs> See, nope, nope. It's it. it I bet you once you found it, it probably You'd be gonna fine. open just fine. Uh, you know, you've got these these double ridges on the back, so if you need to bear down, you've got a place for your thumb to sit. Um, that deadbolt technology, listen to it. Mm -hmm. Just hear it snap in place. Again, goes all the way through, so it's nice and and solid. You're not gonna lock, knock that off. It actually line. has two prongs that go mm -hmm. through the blade. Yep, the pivot and the blade. So they lift That's in great. and lift out. Just a really classy looking pocket knife. I mean, it's it's it is supreme pocket candy to me. It's one hundred and ten dollars, one hundred nine ninety nine. Yeah, one hundred and ten. Yeah. Um, to me, this wins for cool factor, for new factor, and for having a little bit of a legacy factor too, because right. it's a Kit Carson homage. Um, so on a pocket dump, I, I think you're taking it with this knife. One point four one one six, Melina. That is. That's the Swedish steel, right? I believe so. Yeah, that's the no, same thing we right. saw in those fixed blades from Victorinox. Yes. It's the same thing. It's a Sandvik steel, I do believe. Mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, Cold Steel uses it quite a bit. Yep. Um, so it is Ooh, an upgrade from the... <laughs> if it's no, sharp, we ought to stuff, do some man. cutting. That's beautiful. We shall see. I like that. How sharp it is. Yeah. Oh. Got that nice, long blade. It's tapered like crazy. Just a, that's a cool knife. That is nice. Yeah. And again, I'm like you. It's a nice, it's a nice homage to Kit Carson. I think they did it proud, and I think it's just mm. oh. do the, do the the uh, shuffle. No, no, do the Josh. There you go. <laughs> nice. It's pointy, stabby, stabby. It is stabby, stabby. That is for sure. That is the homage right yeah. there too. I dig it, Mr. Kit Carson. Yeah. 109? 109. 109.99, so 110 bucks. I like the flipper. I like the deadbolt. You're getting an upgraded handle because it's got that aluminum and that, that really beautiful pattern on that GRN. Um, you're getting a nice steel in it. Deadbolt technology. It really is just it's something Go else. Go to again. That's 
that's that's a pretty nice. It is like watching a car from any angle. That's pretty. Question. On the pile side of the handle on that knife, uh, do you need to move your fingers when pressing the deadbolt? Um, I don't think so. Well. If you were holding it really, really hard, you would because you'd be pushing against your own hands. Because, hang on a second, pop it back up. Look, if, if I'm moving it, okay, look. So if you notice, the deadbolt recesses right. when it's engaged. Yes, and when, it's, when it is not engaged, it actually comes out. Yeah. So yes, it does come out, but if I'm closing this two-handed, I don't have to really get my hand out of the way. It's going to push it through. It is. Um, to do it one-handed, though, with any motion... You need to lock on to this handle. Yep. So really, it's out of the way anyway. Yeah, you're out of the way. Yeah. It certainly, though, to answer that question completely, it is a new technology. You're going to have to get used to it. This is the Gomer pile side. The Gomer pile. <laughs> Shazam! Shazam! Of Thur course, Thur Thur as fast Thur as that is, nothing is fast as a fixed blade. I love this knife. Did you notice I titled this this week something different? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is the prettiest minimalist that we've so? ever played with. It's a, it's yeah, a, it is the. Do you think so? I'm just Look asking the, the questions. Do you think so? It, of course. This is the minimalist Bowie. Yeah. You know this one. It didn't change its shape or size. Uh, it just has these awesome little 3D printed gears. That's and it glows not, in the dark. It does glow in the dark. It is not three. It is not pad printed. It is not screen printed. All those little gears are three D printed onto yeah. that blade. We got to see the custom version of this with Fultz. Yeah. With the same exact pattern on one that he had made for himself. Oh, that's right. Or that he had for sale. One of the two. Something like that. Yeah. But we got to see the the prototype basically of this at Blade Show last year. Stroke my minimalist tail. God, so cool. So, 2.125 inches of satin finish, 8CR, 13 MOV. Go qui? Bowie blade. Oh. Bowie blade. Okay. Bowie blade. It was spelled B-O-Q-I-W, mm. and I was like, what? Um, so it's a, it's a modified Bowie blade with 3D printed gear, so it's kind of steampunky. Uh, 0.12 inches thick, full tank construction, green polypropylene. Po I'll start over. Green Your polypropylene handles <laughs> with finger grooves and a green polypropylene sheath with a nylon lanyard, both of which glow in the dark. The sheath and the handle, 5.1 inches overall, and a carry weight of 2.1 ounces. Uh, I have the modified Tanto version, I believe is what they call it, of that. Um, you just have the straight Tanto. You have the yeah. minimalist Tanto. Yes. Yes. And I love it. I dig this. This is 24 bucks. So even with all the coolness, it is not going to break the bank. And, of course, they have a cleaver version of this that's out now as well. That's right. We already sold out of it. Yes, we have. They would have been on the show. We'll get more in. We'll yes, get we more in. Uh, they're going to be very, very popular. So do you year. want to know what's cool about this? In this box, there is a, an optional clip yes. that would allow you to scout carry this. Either Comes lefty with all or righty of the minimalist. Oh, does it? Yeah, did not know that. I got mine in my backpack. Nice. I can actually just hook it on my backpack. Yeah. Nice. So that's in the box as well. Yeah, it's groovy. These do glow. We have studio lights on, so we can't. Yeah. Really. You've got show this you. nice little lanyard at the bottom of the of the uh, all the minimalist that act as as a kind of a, a place to put your pinky and keep it in place. But it is as as we were shown by Mr. Fultz. This is going to sit right up there on your knuckles, and that's where you're going to use it. You're not going to monkey fist this thing. Um, I dig that entire series. I think it's neat. I love it. I think it's neat. I, I, if Of the two that are out right now, I would pick the cleaver over it, though I'm not sure, sure what I'd why? use it by. It's yeah. just a cleaver, no. so yeah. it's out there. Um, Hacking up very small characters. These always do feel good. They do. They, they do feel, feel great. Good. They, they just fit right. They tell you exactly where your hand's supposed to go. Right. And, again, if you haven't ever tried a neck knife, this is a great price point to get into one. Um, I wore mine for about a week at work and went, no, I get it. I completely and totally get it. Um, also, with the ability to scout carry. Right. Now that's, that's just a good little knife to yes. have attached to your belt. Right. That's what I thought was really cool is that yeah. little scout carry. Just It allows you to clip 
to screw that clip in on mm -hmm. either side of this, however you want to scout carry. So if yeah. you want to carry it lefty or righty, you can, and it just slides over your belt. Yeah. And again, you can also take that then and attach to a backpack or webbing or whatever you want to put it on. It's quite nice. Yeah. Twenty four dollars 24 bucks. 24 bucks. $23.99. $23 you know, yeah. That whole set <clears throat> is around that price or a little less. Yeah. Which I think is cool. Oh, yeah. Questions, comments, thoughts, concerns. Stealing Jason's notes. No. No. Nothing. Zero. We've been asking as we go. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, do you want to do your Molina's pick right now? Sure. Sweet. Can I pick this because I'm excited about their 2020s? Okay. And those Ooh. are really awesome. Those are just really, God, really cool. That's cool as crap. That's the Spartan RC. Oh, yeah, the limited edition, but th that's the 2020, 2019 model. Um, oh. And soon we'll have the 2020s. Yeah, they, they're so it's a Spartan RC. Spartan RC folder. Yes. S thirty five VN four inch plate. Uh, that, nine inches side. overall. Here, let's show them. Yeah. Hand detail. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Five twenty five. Okay, you need to start again. Okay, it's the Spartan. Come around here. You're no. not gonna be on camera. You're not gonna be on She's camera. Talking to that. Yeah. I'm talking into that. I'm standing right next to it. Aren't okay. I? The Spartan RC uh, 2019 limited edition. It has the, I've forgotten what the, they know what the rifle model is. Um, on the back, uh -huh. flip it around. It's got the Constitution all hand engraved and stuff. Very cool. Uh, S35 VN. On the blade. On the blade, Looks four like inches. Looks like a black coat or a powder coat or a Cerakote, one or the other. Yeah. Uh, bronze anodized titanium handles. And then the bronzed anodized, uh, yes. The thumb studs up there. How cool. And these are the last ones. Nice. Yeah. So look at that so uh, they're reversible limited pocket editions. clip spot right there. It's very neat. Spartan does awesome stuff. They do. Uh, it's all USA made, sourced from USA parts. And especially with Spartan, they t since they're a veteran-owned business, they also try to buy all of their materials from veteran-owned businesses yeah. as well. Spartan's just a really, really cool company. A very cool company. And do Wicked design. Yeah. I just love that knife. You've got the Spartan logo there on this piece that comes out for the pocket clip on this side. Flip it over again. And you have, of course, the arrow there on the pocket clip. Look at the signature on the back. Yeah. That's just... William W. Harsey. That is completely fantastic. Can I actually make it? No, I cannot. Oh! No, I cannot. Harsey's made it too strong for me. I'm a wimp. I can get it out there. I just have to. It's one of those you have to get used to the size of that knife. That is a knife, right? God, the edges. You can feel it sitting in your hand. That it is just a for real chunk of steel in your hand. Yeah, it's got a nice weight to it. That's the, that's the thing with all the Spartans. God, it's so right? nice. It's just pretty. What was the price point? Five twenty-five. Five hundred and twenty-five dollars for that edition, right there. You know, but you have so much steel. Upgraded steel, upgraded handle, so much attention to detail. And MP5. And it's a Spartan, so it's going to be on people's. Um, I may be wrong. I think that's an MP5. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, actually, I can tell you. Give me one second. I don't know. Somebody correct me, but I think it is. Um, it just there's a lot of really cool technology in that knife. I love it. It's pretty. That's love it, sure. love it, love it. That is for sure. Good pick, M4. Melina. M4. Dang it. That was close. There was a number in it, so of course I couldn't remember. Yeah. There you go. Nice. It is beautiful. Yeah, it that is. is for sure. That is a gorgeous knife. And again, it's one of those that when you drop that dime on that knife, you probably will never meet another person with one unless you're at Blade Show. I'm no, I'm serious. I am serious. Right. That is the only place you're probably ever going to pick up somebody who's going to go, oh, I have that knife. That just doesn't happen. That's very cool. That's yeah, very that's funny, really too, that we went piece. from the Rough Rider Mini last week. Yes. To uh, Harsey Limited Edition she, no, Spartan. No, she is. She's eclectic. In her uh, duh, I married her. I know. Yeah, it's I know, amazing. I stuff. Questions, comments, well, concerns. Well, you were by far her most unusual pick. Probably. Probably. That's just a that's a gorgeous knife. Uh, other, did, is, is your cotton sampler the only thing you have on nope, you today? No, cotton sampler and, because I knew we were doing CRKT, I whipped out the Provoke. Ah, nice. Love my Provoke. That's this not is, a Provoke. 
Prequel, not provoke. Crap. Prequel. Um, <laughs> love my prequel because I want to buy provoke. Um, love my prequel. Uh, I have actually taken it apart and cleaned it several times because I use this a lot, as you can see, because it is nasty. Ooh. What is this one? Is this from your pocket? Yes. Yep. This is the Kershaw... 1313 Spoke. Yep. It's the Spoke. It's got some pocket dust in it. That spoke that is as cool spoke. as it can be. Yes. I love the wing pattern on this little guy. This is another one of those budget-friendly knives from Kershaw. Uh, For sure. I'm going to say it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. Yeah, right around that. These are on the site right now. You can find them pretty easily. That's a groovy knife. Yes, that's in her pocket. Did you get this one? Or did you just steal it out of the office? Are you stealing things? No. She is saying nothing. So I was digging around for a knife, and I came across the one that I told the story about. Oh, yeah. So this is an open L. Yep. Uh, it's an 8. Uh, it has a deer hunter uh, thing on it. Uh, I'll etch on it. These ways these were sold. I've had this thing for like over ten years. I want to show you this though. Um, you can see my terrible attempts at learning to sharpen with this knife, and here's why <laughs> with this knife. I use this knife because it has the lock and collar. When I was hanging up this curtain screen in the backyard, so sure. On my whole fence, I hang up one of those like tennis court. Yeah, screens, right? They have to be zip tied. Mm -hmm. So I'm going down through the whole thing all day long and I'm putting the zip ties on and I'm just popping them off with this, popping the ends uh -huh. off. I sat this down somewhere and by the time it hit dusk, I could not find it. Oh. Okay? And I had, I went back out the next morning. I still couldn't find it. I couldn't remember exactly where I was wow. where I set it down. This particular one stayed in the yard for over a year till I was mowing again and I looked down and I saw a little gleam of light. Hell cool. And this is the shape of it. I did not have to clean that up. No. All I had to do was get the crusties out of the pivot. Sure. I mean, it was it had a little dirt, a little dust in it, but it was not rusted at all. It's the That's Inox amazing. version of that, but y'all can see. I mean, look, there is telling you. There's nothing a reason wrong. why that, they've been around for spent years. Life in the yard for I don't know. That's great. A year. We need to tell Tony Spiderco that he left in the yard for like three years. Well, you want to see how ridiculously it. bad my sharpening skills are? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Neil. Yeah. No, not look at the marks. You, it's horrifying. Not to give look you. Look at that side. Look at this. Look at this. Any amount of see crap. that? See this right there? Whoa, boy! But that blade is way far thin, <laughs> so it cuts really well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, you should see when I tried to sharpen my very first one. It's like, I might as well turn it into a saw blade. <laughs> Here's the fun part, though. IKBS ball bearings. Uh-huh. Dell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It is the two extremes of the knife industry. You have this really complex ball bearing system. No, not... Is it in this one? Yeah. yeah. I, yes. yes. And then you have... Literally, what is in essence just a... A pin and a hinge. A pin and a hinge inside that. <laughs> yeah. You have deadbolt technology that shoves two pieces of metal through a third piece of metal. You have a collar that turns. <laughs> Lock up. Still good. Dramatically different. Just as useful. I'm going to take that useful. one home and leave it in my yard for a year and see how good it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. With the materials in that, I think you'd be fine. Probably. I think you'd be fine. Probably. Uh, I, just awesome. fun. I just thought it'd be fun. No, that's great. I brought it in so that you guys could see. All right, next show I'm going to bring in my dad's Schrade Folding Hunter. That is from the 60s, I think Kevin said. Wow. So it was a USA made nice. Schrade from uh -huh. back in the day. And that sucker is still as sharp as the last time that I used it to clean an animal that we caught. Those old uh, carbon steel blades. I'm telling you. They, man, it's people went in a little their own blades. It was kind of nice. Any other questions, comments, thoughts? They're just having a good time today? Yeah. They're enjoying they're themselves. Good. They're being good, so the meter, so the proud. giveaway meter is up here. I'm so proud. In case you didn't notice, guys, we did make the switch. The giveaway went to YouTube. Yep. A lot of you have gone to get registered for it. Uh, Heck yeah. It is out there. Uh, I tried to put reminders into the story. You can go to our YouTube page. You can click on that from our homepage. I've been putting links onto the Facebook page. But there have already been like 130, 150 people enter to win that uh, SMKW Sweet. Army exclusive tinker that is the giveaway just specifically on YouTube this week. Uh, things going strong on Facebook, all of that. Join us there. 
Uh, Instagram's going to make some changes. Continue. Of course. So, um, and you'll see pretty pictures there. A Let's lot say, of those. But man, is it pretty? It's going to be. God. It's going to. It's going to continue to get prettier as we do it. Um, watch. Get to the point. Play kick it or cart it every single morning. I love it so much. All of the reasons. Yes. Yes. So some people are like, I definitely go in my cart, except I'm saving sure. for no X. Yeah. And again, we can both identify. Yes. Um, you know, we don't get. You get given samples of the ones you design. Yes. Otherwise, the stuff in our pockets, we're purchasing. I like to think I earned those samples in my pocket. You definitely earned those. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. You mean. But, it, but you decide to buy something. Yes. yes. And that's true for everybody in this company. I mean, still got I mean, my tough light in my pocket. Tyler, Tyler brought in the, 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 the bare knuckles that he probably has in his pocket at SHOT Show. Yeah. He purchased. He owns this place. He purchased as his very first 20 CV knife. Yeah. And was very proud of himself. For buying a 20 CV knife. Join the SMKW Army too. group uh, <laughs> and you'll be able to show a lot of what you own. I think that's probably one of the coolest features of that group is that you can show your knives I and think you can so. talk about knives and there's just it's just a lot of fun good inside people. that group. To do really, that. really good people. Part of that thing. Anything else? Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the text messaging. If you haven't signed up for text messaging, starting probably in February, each Friday, there may be something special that's only available through the text message. Text JOIN to 84623. Yep. We're going to do something different with it, just like Instagram. We're changing it up this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 2020. It's a whole new decade. I looked at Josh, and I said, can you find us something to give away with the text message each Friday? He went, yeah, and ran off to his office like a little troll. <laughs> <coughs> I was like, well, not immediately. You've got some time. No, we need to do it now. And he was gone. Uh. So, follow us on all these places, join in the competitions, sign up for the newsletter, for sign sure. up, uh, text JOIN to 84623. I believe that's the right, 864 8426 I am pretty certain that is right. I think that's right. It's on the very home page of the website. So go to smkw.com, scroll down below the hero image there, and you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the number. 84623. Sean does. I'm you pretty do. sure that's it. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. It could happen. Guys, uh, Jonathan has been on the board. He did great today. Did you see him? We didn't fool him once. Not once. He wins amazing. nothing, though. He wins <laughs> nothing. I will give him <laughs> nothing. He's got to prove it again that he can get through all the way through this. I Melina, know, <laughs> no, no. He got his his <laughs> nice <laughs> time today because we have a beard, a condor bearded axe upstairs that we all drooled over for a little while. Nice. We'll be on the site pretty soon. Nice. It was groovy. That's awesome. Yeah. Lots of new stuff coming. I'm Lots of new stuff coming. Melina has been kind enough to handle all of you on both YouTube and Facebook. I don't understand how she does it, but yes. she does. Um, we didn't do a giveaway. We probably need to. We could. Okay. What are you thinking? Definitely not that one. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> to me, it is down between the... Um, to me, it is down between those three. See, I was going to say it's between those three, and I was going to say let's do two, and let's do that one and that Okay, one. I'm going to say let's do one, and you got to pick. <laughs> it's that one. That's where I was, too. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> I, I love the good nature of two, but we're running down. We're, running, we're trying to keep the good things going. That's true. That's, That's true. right. We that, got a budget. And that is fantastic. <laughs> Melina runs the budget. She runs me with the budget. I see two, and she was like, don't you, you do give it. it two? You're giving one. It is January. So it'll be the CRKT uh, Pete, P-I-E-T. Yep. Pete. Um, and we love it. It's a cool um, little knife. My grandmother's nickname was Pete. Really? Yes. She and her sister, grandmother Pete. She and her sister had boy nicknames because they were from a family of boys, and so it was funny. It's funny. I can't remember my... Uh, What's that? What's the other one's nickname? Gene, it was Pete and... Not repeat. Frank. No, it was like Roy. that, but she used to answer her phone at the house, Pete's pool hall, it's your nickel shoot. Yes. So I always thought that was funny. That's my good. grandmother would do that. Um, let's do... CRKT something. CRKT new stuff. Okay. 
Hashtag CRKT new stuff. That is the that is the hashtag this time to win the CRKT Pete P I E T CRKT new stuff. Heck yeah, do it. And in fact, just get on there and make a comment. We're just gonna go through and make get look at the comments. Just make comments. Just make comments. That's best the whole comment deal. might win. Who knows? Who knows? That's on YouTube too, right? Yeah. So go comment there as well. Yes. Go subscribe. Do it. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> we got the giveaway now. That's Jason. It's been a long, long week. A long week. It has been a long week. I am Andy. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching Guys Talk Knives Live. We will be back next Tuesday. Watch the other stuff in the middle. We'll catch you next time. I'm trying to remember the salute off of uh, Galaxy Quest. I don't, I don't think I've ever watched Galaxy Quest. Oh, no, no, the movie Galaxy yeah. Quest. Yeah. It's still, it's back over this way.